Hey guys, this is AlexR197 and I'm going to show you today how to render your videos in high definition in Windows Movie Maker. Um, a lot of you watching this video are probably beginner editors who just broke into the world of video editing. So you're still using um, Windows Movie Maker or using Windows Movie Maker. And um, as you can see on YouTube, a lot of videos on there now are in high definition or you can watch them in high definition and you probably might be thinking that you can't get high def quality with your videos because you're not using um, big name software like Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro or Adobe but actually you can render your videos in high definition in Windows Movie Maker uh, reckon that you have at least a Vista version of Windows Movie Maker because I'm not sure um, I don't think the XP version allows this or you can check if you do have the XP version but um okay so if you have your project here it's already all edited as you can see it's all edited right here and you finally want to publish your movie you would go to publish movie as usual and then select where do you want to publish your movie so publish it to this computer Give your name a file. Give your file a name, and select where you want to publish to public videos or videos, or you can select browse. So just click next, and then um, usually, if you really do not know what all these numbers and gibberish mean, you probably just select the best quality for playback on your computer. But what you can do for HD is if you go to more settings, click the drop down arrow. There's a ton of options you can select to, and here you can see Windows Media HD 720p, HD for Xbox, HD 1080p, and those are your HD settings. So if you go to different ones, like 720p, you can see their settings here. If you go to, for Xbox, the settings change, bitrate change, and 1080p, again, um, they're different. And it even shows you how much space the file takes up and how much space you have left. So if you want an HD and you don't want it a big file, really, you just want HD on YouTube, that's your main goal, select Windows Media HD 720p. And this, when you render your video and later upload it onto YouTube, it will YouTube will recognize your file as a uh, high definition and it will give you that watch an HD link um, so select 720p you can select 1080p for better performance and whatnot but just know that the higher you you render the higher up you go it, your file size is gonna get much bigger as you can see 328 megabytes while 720p is only 248 so the higher you go up your file size is going to get bigger and if you have a very long clip like over 10 minutes and you want to try render it in 1080p or even high def in general um, just know that YouTube has a, max, has a max file limit of 1 gigabyte so if your file space exceeds over 1 gigabyte you can't you can't upload that file because it is too big. So especially if you're getting videos closer to 10 minutes and you want to render it in like 1080p, you need to really watch um, your file space because if it's too big, you can't render it. So once you select it, just click publish, publish and then it will start publishing your movie. And rendering in HD does take a while because it is high definition. And this goes for Movie Maker, Sony Vegas, wherever you go to. If you try to publish in HD, it will take a long time. So just let your computer sit. Nothing's wrong with your computer. It it just takes a while. But it's all worth it for HD for that clear picture. As you can see, 39 to 37 minutes. Um, previous videos I uploaded to YouTube that were two minutes long took... 20 minutes to upload to um, sorry to render in HD and it took 15 minutes to upload so this whole process takes a while so just just let your computer sit and it'll be fine so um, thank you YouTube for watching my 
tutorial on how to render your videos in HD in Windows Movie Maker. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Um, thank you, and see you later.